Hi, thanks for coming back. It's Matt here again with MyWebRoad.com, and today I want to have a little bit of fun showing you one of the experiments that Google's running in artificial intelligence. So, this website hit my radar when I was checking out the 2017 Webby Award winners, and one of the winners for technical achievement in the games category, but you'll very quickly see that this isn't a normal game, uh, it was for Quick Draw with Google. So this experiment, which is which has taken the form of a website essentially, is found at quickdraw.withgoogle.com. So let's dive right in there, let's play the game, and let's see the data and have a little bit of fun experimenting with them. So here we are at quickdraw.withgoogle.com, and we can see the front page. It says, can a neural network learn to recognize doodling? The answer is yes. Help teach it by adding your drawings to the world's largest doodling data set. So as of when I just checked, there are over one billion doodles in this database. And you can download this data set on the internet and, and, and play with it if you're a developer. So one billion doodles of different things. And let's see what they mean. Right here we click on Let's Draw. It takes us right in and I'm in I'm, and I'm playing their game. But their game is really a lot more than a game. Draw a parrot in under 20 seconds. So a parrot, so I think a parrot is like a bird, but it would be like a bird on someone's shoulder, right, is like what I'm thinking. So let's, let's do it. And I'm just going to burn through all six of these drawings. Please don't pass any judgment on these drawings. I'm using my mouse. You could actually play this game on a tablet. You use your finger. It's probably a little bit easier, but let's just burn through here because I just want to show you what they're, what they're getting at. Draw a parrot. Let's do it. Picture is a little beat, I see right? cherry, or peanut, little... or stethoscope. Picture oh, I know, it's parrot. Oh, he knew it was a parrot so quickly. That's kind of scary. Draw a flashlight in under 20 seconds. I could do a flashlight, right? Flashlight. I see shoe, or magic wand. Watch. Or shorts, or megaphone. Watch this. this is gonna I do see it. marker, or knife. Oh, I know, it's flashlight. There you go. Draw a diving board in under 20 seconds. So a diving board, right, has I see a elbow, pool, right? Or necklace. Or pillow. Or shoe. I see eraser. Or envelope. Or pool. Or magic wand. So you gotta or tell cooler. Water. I see sandwich. Or toothpaste. Not a good Sorry. diving board, Matt. I couldn't guess it. Draw matches. Okay, I can draw matches. I see broom. Or string bean. Or marker. Or pliers. I see wishbone. It's hard on oh, my Oh, I know. It's matches. It's hard on my mouse, but it, it knew those were ma matches. Draw a toilet? Okay, I can do that. It'd be like this. I see magic wand. It'd be like this. Or bench. It'd or pillow. Like... Or hot air balloon. I see bucket. Or ring. Or wristwatch. Oh, I know. It's toilet. <laughs> That's so cool. Draw a panda. I'll draw a panda. This is easy, right? I see panda bread. Like this. Or garden hose. Or t-shirt. Oh, maybe not. Or bear. I see koala. Oh, I know. It's panda. <laughs> that was fun, you guys. The neural network figured out five of my doodles. It saw something else in one of them. So let's see what it saw and visit the data. That's what I like about this. This is really cool. So it got parrot, flashlight. I missed diving board. It's a terrible diving board. I don't even know what that is. It, it looks like, I don't know, it looks like a letter or it looks like a piece of mail, you know what I mean? So let's see, when I drew a diving board, it thought my drawing looked more like a pool. That's what I was going for was a pool, kind of. Toothpaste or a finger, how interesting. What does it think a diving board looks like? Oh, these people are geniuses. Look at this. Yeah, that's way more like a diving board, huh? All right. So just very interesting stuff, you guys. And I think it's really cool to see what they're working on. Let's look now at a big data set, because I think this is very interesting, too. If we look at this date at the data sets, it'll show us, you know, like maybe a hundred or so different different things that it asks people to draw, but then you can randomize them, which is pretty cool. So I'm looking at 118,228 lobster drawings. I mean, how cool is this, you guys? I mean, we can all pretty much agree on what a lobster looks like, right? 
It's so interesting. Right? Let's randomize this and see a tent. Okay. 126,827 people all agree on what a tent looks like. So that I can see right away how this would help with icon iconography, right? You want to make an icon? You're not sure what would the, what would the public think an icon looks like? If you're making an icon of a tent, I think you have a pretty good start right here. 115,516 drawings of jail. So this is what everyone thinks of when they think of jail. They think of this, these bars. How interesting. These bars are jail. To over 120, you know, about 120,000 people, those bars mean jail. So interesting. 98,300 hot tubs. Hot tubs, not an easy one to draw, but there you go. It's those lines that show the, uh, that show the steam, right? That's, that's what turns like a bowl or a cup, or it turns this, this cylinder into a hot tub. It's so interesting. So, you guys, I was really excited to show this to you, and I hope you get a chance to go to quickdraw.withgoogle.com and try it, and submit your drawings you will be you know you'll be collaborating essentially with these google engineers in developing these artificial intelligences that they think things that they think are going to benefit us in the future so thanks for coming back i hope to see you soon please subscribe to my youtube channel you could share uh, my youtube channel or you could check me out on facebook or on twitter so have a great day i hope to see you soon bye